the finger. How, how no, did no, it come no. about? I'm sure this is the first time you've ever been asked. <laughs> uh, I used to block the shot. Then I would shake my head. And uh, after a while, I felt like uh, guys was not getting it. You know, they knew I, I got them, but... Uh, what do you mean they weren't getting it? You know, it was like maybe I was just celebrating it because I blocked the shot. And I felt like I need to come up with something. Maybe a finger where thing that do not bring that, that things out here no more in the, in the proper English. <laughs> and then they would get it. Did other players legitimately get upset when you would do that? A lot. Coaches. Why? Owners. Because the fact that there was an ambassador, especially Rick Pitino. I remember Rick Pitino when he was in Boston. He used to call the league office every time I play against Boston because they didn't have a big man that can challenge me there on the block. Every time they send everybody else, I used to swap them up. Wait, how did you know he would call the league office? Because I used to get all the complaints for the NBA every day. And what would they say, Rick Pitino oh, called? They would find me. And I used to get fined uh, a thousand dollars for waving my hand. Man. Well, uh, I pay a lot of money, man. This finger wear, it cost me a lot of money to, uh, to yeah, keep doing that. Well, it but, also made you a lot of money. It made me <laughs> a lot of money. It went both ways. Right, right. right. <laughs> uh, but eventually, when you first started doing it, it was fair game. It was legal. But yes. eventually, it was Then there was a lot of complaints. There right. were players who would complain to the ref. The right. ref would come to me before the game and say, uh, do you know we talked to the league? You cannot do that. You cannot do that. And then I go and do it, get a technical foul. Then the ref would come to me and say, you know what, you can't be, uh, we don't want to kick you out of the game, but can you just face the fans while you're doing it? Then I realized that if I block the shot and the ball is still up there, I cannot look at the way in there on the fan and wave my finger and try to keep, on, keep my eye on the ball. So I realized that it really didn't bother me if I get another technical foul. And, uh, well, right, I mean, you get a technical foul, you get fined, and uh, the then NBA commissioner, David Stern, even called you and asked you to stop doing it. Yet yes. You still continue doing it. And I did continue, but when I got a call from the commissioner, I think the, the, the compliance we have gone to another level, okay. that uh, I felt that I didn't have no other choice that start cooperating with what the commissioner said and uh, I start looking at the fans or wait until the play is already dead and the ball is going to do a different way. Then I would look at the fans and say, okay, I got them, <laughs> I got them. But it was fine. I had so much fun doing that. 